pain persisting beyond the first few days after grain hernia repair is recognized to affect small numbers of patients. In nearly all of these patients, the pain subsides postoperatively over the early months. Pain persisting at and beyond one year is considered as chronic pain. Neuropathy is widely recognized as a cause of such chronic postoperative pain. It can be induced by nerve trauma during dissection, neuroma formation after partial or complete transection, entrapment by suture, or by postoperative adhesion and scar tissue. The report from the Danish hernia database group suggests that in current practice, the incidence of chronic pain one year after growing hernia repair may be approximately 30%. Due to the lack of declaration, the actual incidence is surely even higher. Anguinal neuropathic pain attracts our attention as a neuropathologist because it is for the patient concerned a permanent pain, a type of intense, sharp, burning or lancinating pain near the incision that radiates to the genital area and the leg. This pain increases when walking or sitting for a long period of time. This neuropathic pain has a profound impact on the private, social and professional life of the affected patients. This pain must be recognized in daily medical practice and requires adequate and effective treatment. Peripheral neuropathy contributing to chronic pelvic pain is often missed in a clinical setting. Clinicians who are not familiar with the phenomenon of groin neuralgia may conclude that the reported symptoms have a psychosomatic basis. This is not the solution. The solution lies in the treatment of the nerve lesion. The cutaneous nerves of the lower abdomen and groin are most frequently implicated in the etiology of persistent groin pain following hernia repair. Four nerves are involved in neuropathic pain. The iliohypogastric, the ilioinguinal, the genital femoral, and the lateral femoral cutaneous nerves. A lesion of the iliohypogastric will lead to neuropathic pain of the skin of the region of the abdomen located below the umbilical region. A lesion of the ilio inguinal will induce pain of the skin of the groin, pubic symphysis, the upper and medial part of the thigh, and of the skin over the root of the penis and upper part of the scrotum in man, and of the skin covering the mons pubis and labia majora in women. Because the genital femoral divides into two branches, a lesion of the nerve will lead to pain of the skin of the scrotum in men and the mons pubis and labia majora in women, but also of the skin of the upper, anterior and medial side of the thigh down to the knee, not below. A lesion of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve will induce pain of the skin of the anterior and lateral regions of the thigh to the knee, and of the lateral portion of the thigh to mid-thigh, just above the knee. Nerve entrapment can result from neuroma formation after damage to the nerve, incorporation of the nerve by a suture or tethering or constriction of the nerve in surrounding scar tissue or in nerve damage by cutting. Although these mechanisms can produce pain immediately in the post-operative period, the onset of pain can also occur many years after the original surgery. All inguinal surgeries can induce inguinal pain neuropathy by irritation or lesion of the inguinal nerves. Inguinal surgical repair is a procedure that exposes the most patients to inguinal nerve damage regardless of whether the procedure is performed with open or laparoscopic surgery.
The use of a mesh increases even more the risk for perineural scarring resulting in nerve entrapment. Prevalence of groin neuropathic pain following a C-section or a fan and steel incision has been reported as about 4%. Inguinal nerve injury as a result of trocar placement for laparoscopic surgery is not that rare and undoubtedly very underestimated in scientific literature. The position of a lateral trocar less than three centimeters from the pelvic bone crest significantly exposes both the ilioinguinal and the genital femoral nerves for such a lesion. The diagnosis of peripheral nerve entrapment remains clinical and is based on a neuropelviological workup. The neuropelviological diagnostic workup is essential because it will determine the therapeutic approach. The first step is the confirmation of the nerve lesion. Apart from the manual examination of the inguinal region, confirmation is obtained with local anesthetic of the inguinal trigger point. Nerves conduction studies have been used with large nerves, such as the sciatic nerve. Its value in the diagnosis of entrapment of smaller nerves, such as the groin, has not been established. The second step consists of the evaluation of the functional integrity of the nerve. In men, the preservation of the cremaster reflex is an essential clinical element since it confirms the integrity of the genitofemoral nerve. A second important clinical element is the preservation of the sensation to the touch of the skin of the inguinal region. Abnormal sensation of the skin, such as tingling, chilling or burning, may be present in both irritation and nerve damages, but a loss of sensation is rather in favor of a partial or even complete destruction of the nerve. Treatment will depend upon the findings from the workup. From a neuropelvological perspective, our first therapeutic option is the attempt to release the affected nerve by means of massage and anesthetic infiltrations. In case of a failure, the second step consists of blocking the nerve with botulinum toxin as long as the diagnostic anesthesia has resulted in an improvement of pain of at least 50% during several hours. In the case of entrapment, the method of choice is to release the nerve laparoscopically without removing the mesh in order to avoid recurrence of the inguinal hernia. In the case of complete nerve destruction, the simple release of the nerve will bring no improvement. In this case, we opt for the laparoscopic implantation of a stimulations electrode on the destroyed nerve into the pelvic cavity. This technique, called the Lion procedure, allows the neuromodulation of all inguinal nerves together with a single stimulations lead electrode. 